Hello there and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be giving over the top goal for every Premier League club this season. If you enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like as well as hit that subscribe button. Without any further ado, let's get into it with our first team at random order. First top of the league, I'm going to go with Arsenal. Arsenal's goal for me is to make the Champions League for the first time in a while. I don't think it's realistic for them to win the league as they were just in the Europa spots last year. But I think that they can go ahead and make the Champions League for sure. They'll definitely be in that top four in my opinion. But that still should be their goal for the rest of the year. Now we're going to go for Southampton whose goal has to be get a solid team together beside Hassan Hutel. Hassan Hutel, as Thogdad said, is a good manager with poor resources. So if you can get resources, I think there's too many bad teams for Southampton to really go down. So I'm going to go with get a good, strong team behind Hassan Hutel so you can push on for mid-table and play well in years to come. For Nottingham Forest, the goal is going to be to survive. Currently bottom of the table, tied on goal difference for 18th place. Only three point, two points out of the relegation zone right now, plus goal difference. And it's going to be a challenge for Forest to get out. But I think that they could do it with the squad that they have behind a good manager like Steve Cooper, who just got a contract extension. And I think that they could definitely do this one without any doubt in my mind. I'm begging on Forrest to stay up, but this just needs to be their goal. Fulham, it's to get top half. Fulham have played fantastic so well at the rate they're playing. They're not slowing down anytime soon. They just need to go ahead and make sure they get top half. I think if Fulham can get top half, then they will have a good season to build on. Brighton, Roberto Zerbi, get it going. Because ever since Graham Potter left, buddy, the team has been awful, just coming down from Champions League spots to below a struggling Liverpool side. So if you can just get it under control, right the ship a little bit, stuff will be looking a lot better for you. So make sure that you can do that, man. Don't worry. I think you have a strong enough team to hang on and do it successfully. Liverpool, get Champions League. For Liverpool, the goal has to be to get Champions League. With a slow start to the season, I still think that they'll definitely do it. But the goal, under all those strong players, still has to be just to get to the Champions League like they do every year. Because, be honest, there's no real chance that anybody but Manchester City is going to win the league. Now that brings us to Manchester City. Manchester City's goal is to win the Champions League. So if Manchester City can win the Champions League, get the monkey out their back, play well, continue to dominate under the Erling Haaland era, all will be well, and they'll finally be able to do it. It'll finally work out well for City, tired of the hiccups and everything like that. So stuff will finally come to an end of consistently missing out on the Champions League. They'll finally get there, I believe, this year and get to it. Tottenham is get top four. Tottenham need top four after a loss to Newcastle about two hours ago. They need top four. They really need it. And it's going to be really hard for them to get up there with some other teams, but they could definitely do it just like they did last year. They're just as in it as the likes of Liverpool or Chelsea and United and Newcastle right now. Teams that are just playing so well. But I think that they can do it and get up there, fight for top four, reach it, get it. Next, moving on, we have Leeds United. For Leeds United, the goal is to survive because you've had a god-awful start to the season. It started off good, but this has fallen off since then with four straight losses. It's really not looking good for Leeds. So I think you just have to continue and fight and try to stay up. I think you could do it, though, Leeds, I believe. Crystal Palace get a strong team behind Vieira and make it a good cup run. Get to the semifinals of either the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup. With the likes of Zaha, Eze, and Elise, Eduard, Gehi, this team is too strong to be lingering about in mid-table in the Premier League. So if you can make it good, a good cup run, maybe get to Europe even, with only a five-point gap, 
One of those two goals would be fantastic, but the one I'm choosing is to make it to Europe and get that monkey off your back. Finally do it, Crystal Palace. You can do it. I certainly believe in you. You have a chance to do it with the squad you have that I just mentioned. I think that without a doubt it's possible with the players they have. It's only a five-point gap from between where they are to Europe. So I think that they can certainly do it and make it in. But what do you think? Tell me in the comments down below. All right, now moving on to the likes of... Did stay up convincingly. Have a season that doesn't piss the fans off. You have to have a good season, Everton. It's about time you turn this around under Frank Lampard. It's still not looking that great. But you have to turn it around for real this time and play well. Stay up convincingly, Everton. Wolves stay up. Wolves need to stay up. It's really not looking good for them. Since sacking Bruno Lodge, nothing has really changed at all. It's just not looking good. You shouldn't have sacked Lodge. There's nothing he did really wrong. And the team is just looking pretty, just like, not good anymore. Ever since you decided to sack Lodge. Mistake bringing the Sevilla manager. I think that's what they did. It just wasn't a good idea whatsoever. Very poor decision making by uh, Wolves. They should have really done better than that. All right, now moving on to a similar spot on the table. It's West Ham United. What does West Ham United need to do? They need to keep the squad together. Because if they don't keep the squad together, they're going to go down. They're going to get relegated. And but, So they really need to keep the squad together with the players they have. Bring in transfers. Have a crucial January transfer window. What they need to do. Make those big moves that are going to get them to stay up. Because if they don't have those big moves, they're going to be done for. They need to make those big clutch moves coming in through the door. Otherwise, they will not do well at all whatsoever. And it's not going to look good for West Ham. So West Ham need to get that through the door and make that their top priority. Right now, moving on to Leicester City. Leicester City need to stay up. It's really not looking good with Brendan Rodgers and everything else that's going on. Leicester City really do need to stay up because it's not looking good at all. I know they have better form as of late. 4 nothing win. I, but, I mean, come on. We're really sick of two 4 nothing wins recently. One, uh, two nothing in the leads. Yeah, but I'm not really convinced by Leicester City too much. They haven't been doing enough, so their goal is just to simply stay up. Stay in the league. Moving around to Newcastle United, and you, Newcastle need to make the Champions League. It's about time it happens in Newcastle. Mike Ashley Euro was a complete bust, but under Mohamed bin Salman, their new owners, the PIF, they need to come through and make the Champions League. So if they could do it, that would be great, and that has to be their number one goal. Please the Jordies. They're currently fourth in the table. They need to go ahead and do it. Moving on now. Manchester United qualified for the Champions League. For Manchester United, the most important goal is undeniably to qualify for the biggest club competition in the world, the UEFA Champions League. I think that the Manchester United have potential to qualify for this tournament, but whether they will do it or not, that's another story. With the top four being absolutely loaded these days, it's going to be very hard for Manchester United to do it. But I think that they frankly can do it and will qualify under Eric Ten Hag. The form they're going to be on is just going to be ridiculous. So yes, I think that they will make it under him. Even though the top four is becoming more and more competitive as the years go on. With the likes of Newcastle, Chelsea, Liverpool, City, Arsenal, Tottenham. Just really stuffing it up there. Tournament survive. Bournemouth, the most important goal is just to keep their heads above water because with under Gary O'Neill still, I've only, they've only lost once, but they're by no means out of the woods yet. 
They're still in a very sloppy mess right now, and they could still go down Bournemouth. They're just not looking that great right now. Ever since the Eddie Howe era collapsed, Bournemouth just haven't been looking as good lately. So Bournemouth, I think, are a real danger and a team that could seriously be going back down to the championship. Aston Villa have a good season. I think Aston Villa just need to have a good season under whoever they're bringing as manager, whether it's Pochettino or somebody else. It's gonna, re it's really looking tight for Aston Villa where they are right now. It's not looking very good, and I think that they're gonna need to pick up the pace and pick up some big points and really turn this thing around. Cause right now Villa is not looking very good with the way they're playing. So they need to really turn this around, score more goals, get the offense going. That'll be a big help if they can do that. Redford have a sustainable top flight season. Yes, that is my goal for Brentford Football Club because I think they need to have a sustainable top flight, top half season where they can play well and it will all work out well for them. And hopefully that they can have a top half season because they really need it after finishing 13th last year. It's something that would be really important to the club moving forward. They can build on it and hopefully next year get to Europe. Because that heavy defeat to Aston Villa wasn't great. Maybe a new manager bounce for Villa, maybe not. But if Brentford can sustain a top half finish, that would be great for their team, their fans, the whole community at the Brentford Community Stadium, no pun intended. Well, that brings me Fulham Battle for Europe. I think it is vital that Fulham make a battle for Europe with the way that they're playing. It's certainly possible that they could do so. I think this Fulham side is capable of a lot. With the players they have, definitely overperforming. And if they could do this, they could possibly just have a great season. They're definitely going to stay up, in my opinion. But if they continue to play on strongly, can follow make a battle for Europe or even get to that seventh spot, which is the Conference League, it's certainly a possibility. So tell me in the comments down below what you think. Well, that brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like as well as hit that subscribe button. Without any further ado, I'm going to sign off. I'll see you guys.